because we had the COVID lockdown, I'd been so busy. I'd, I'd done a, a thousand jobs that didn't even need doing. And I said to Jen, I'm going to go and cut the branch off the tree in our garden. So I get out there, put the big ladder up, extend it, go and get all my gear. And I'm going to do a job that I've easily done 300 times before. Never got it wrong. So I'm just about to put my foot on the bottom rung of the ladder and sort of calculating, you know, where it's going to fall and how much rope I need to use. And my neighbour pops up the other side of the fence and he said to me, you know, I care what you're up to. I said, oh, I'm cutting that big branch that juts over your garden. I said, I'm going to get that off because one day it might fall off and do some damage. He said, all right. He said, don't mind if I watch, do you? I said, no, 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 of course I don't. So I get up there, rope the branch to the tree, cut the branch off. And obviously because of that distraction, me having a chat with him down there and aware that he's watching, I got it that much wrong. Just enough to take the top off of his fence panel right in front of him. I said, I don't believe this. I said, oh, look, oh, 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 he knew it. He said, no, no, it's all right, I'll fix it. And he did. So that was all good. So I thought, well, at least I've got all the accidents out of the way because that's the only one that month. And then the following morning, I said to Jan, before we go to our friends, I said, I've, I said, I've polished the car, I've vacuumed it, I've cleaned it. I said, I'm going to restore the plastic stuff on the exterior. I said, and I've got this stuff called Back to Black. Never used it before. I said, and usually it's like about a tenner. But I said, we, when we were in the shop, they had this for four quid, but they had it half price. So that was only two quid. So I said, I'm going to go and do that. So I get out there and the birds are singing. You can't hear any of the traffic. It's like there is none. You could hear the bees if they were there. So I get out there and I spray a bit on that. Well, look at that. It looks like brand new. Then I can hear some bees. Then I hear one bee right in my ear, and boy, did it sting me. I've never had a bee sting. I thought they were beneficial if you had a couple of ailments. Oh, do you know what? I shouldn't have been hit round the head with a shovel. And I'm right in the back garden. And Jen's coming. She said, you all right? I said, no, I'm not. I said, something that big has inflicted so much pain, you just won't believe it. So I'm out there for 20 minutes, and as soon as I get past the grit in the teeth bit, I say, I'm going back out there now. So I get back out there with my little can. And I spray a little bit, but now I'm looking around. I thought, you know, why did they turn up? Ten seconds into this, I can hear some bees. Fifteen seconds, here they come. And they're all angry. So I just run back out in the garden. I said, have a look at that. I said, who'd have thought it? I said, whatever's in that attracts bees. But, you know, makes them really annoyed. And I can only go back out there every 15 to 20 minutes when they're in a bee to be heard. And only do it for 15 to 20 seconds before they all come back. So it took me all day to do that, to spend five minutes out there, took me eight hours. But I thought, oh, well, that's the end of that. If only. We then go to our friends, and when I get there, I'll, I'll tell the story. She went, oh, that's interesting, isn't it? I said, yeah, Jan thought it was really funny when it wasn't. I go to bed, get up in the morning, and I've had a bit of an uncomfortable night, because my ear feels like it's sort of sunburnt, you know? And it has disturbed me sleep. And I get downstairs, I'm, you know, it's a bit odd. Louise walks into the room and she just takes one look at me and can't stop laughing. I said, what's wrong with you? She will not stop laughing. I said, you've got to pull yourself together. I said, I know I ain't got the best dress sense. Probably ain't got the best haircut and definitely not the best looking guy. But I said, I've never been that funny without telling a joke. I said, so what is it? She said, you've got to look in the mirror. So I go and look in the mirror and, you know, there's my regular ear. And there's my other ear where I've been stung with a bee and it's half as big again. I said, look at that, that's unbelievable. I've grown a new ear. Jane comes down, she finds it just as funny. We go out, and of course I'm well aware of this. I can feel it being a bit warm, but I know it's much bigger than it should be. And so do half the people that walk past me, because they walk past me, have a look and have a look again, because there's me with a big ear. But I thought, oh, well, at least people will remember me for something. <laughs> Anyhow, I've got to go. See ya.